Hi guys, it's Misty with How Creative Creations. <clears throat> I Today I am making three stick ponies out of recycled denim jeans. These were culled out of my husband's closet. Um, he can't wear holy jeans to work. And so periodically I go into his closet and I call out all the ones with holes in the jean in the knees and back pockets and everything else. And I keep them and I make them into stick ponies. Uh, coffee cozies too. I've done some of those with them. Um, I've dressed some rag dolls and whatnot. Anyways, so I cut off just below the knee. Um, and then I cut the bottom seam, the hem, and then I cut them up the side seam. I personally like the look of the folded over seam, so I leave it in. Because I think it adds and shows what, what it was to begin with. So I place the pattern just so, so you can see that it's in a prominent place. Because, like I said, I like the look. I think it looks awesome. So, I place my hand-drawn pattern. And y'all can tell, I hand-draw my patterns. Look, I have two different eye holes. You know why that is? Because I screwed up the first one. So, I mark the outline and I mark the eye. Then I fold it over and I mark the eye on the other side. Now, I'm using a Sharpie to mark these eyes because that's what I prefer. I'm also trimming off the extra denim here. I put it on the machine and I get it started. Whimsy Woo. I get the eye pattern from Whimsy Woo and I use an SE, a Brother SE 400. It is a beginning level embroidery machine. And I love it. I mean, it works. It's a little workhorse. I've had this one for several years. And I've only had it in the shop like three times this year. And that's only because we're waiting on a part to come in. And it keeps getting a burr on the underside of the bobbin case. And he has to file it off, and it's in a really weird place. It, it keeps getting him in a really weird place. So he's got it on order, but because of Corona and all that mess, you know, it takes forever for everything to come in. So, it is what it is. We all know how it is. But this, I mean, she's quick. She works, you know, it's not too bad. The eye pattern from Whimsy Woo. I like it. It's pretty quick. Has some options. So I stick with it. Um, if I can digitize it, I have ideas for other eyes. But this, I like it. I do have issues with the dragon eyes that I do. And I don't know if it's the way the pattern was or what, but something, me and that pattern don't get along as well. There ends up being a, a whole lot of words being said when I do that. Y'all, ignore my desk. So far this year, I've made stick ponies and felt food and dresses and clothing and everything else. I've also made over 1,500 masks. I just posted a video of a new mask for my husband. He works outside and it's hot, y'all. It's real hot. And it's hard when it's mandatory to wear a mask. It's hard. I mean, we were at the farmer's market this morning. You had to wear a mask there. It's outdoors. Lord, I don't know why you gotta wear it outdoors. Everybody's six feet apart. I don't know. Anyways, I digress. <sighs> I'm 
bed. Oh, some of y'all may be wondering about why I have big uh, binder clips on my hoop for my embroidery machine. <clears throat> if y'all do any amount of embroidering, like at least once a day, you'll understand that the little tension screw on the end of the the hoop it wears out then you can't keep tension on the fabric and can't really embroider that way so you have to buy new hoops y'all I have like 15 sets of hoops at the house I only use one size when you buy them they come in three and four packs of different sizes I only use one size so they're like 20 something dollars every time you order them. That cuts into overhead. And I like to try to keep my prices down. Although I had to increase my prices. Because fabric's more expensive. Because of the demand for masks and everything else for COVID. Not to mention. A whole story about the woman at the post office. When I shipped these three thick ponies off. Ugh. Y'all, she put me in Karen mode. Let me speak to your supervisor. Well, I didn't ask. She brought him out there because she kept arguing with me. Anyways, I use those clips. And I take the little metal piece that makes it pinchy. And I take those off after I put the clips on it. It holds everything tight. It keeps everything perfect. Y'all, they're a dollar for a six-pack. A dollar at the Dollar Tree for a six pack of those socks. Can you beat that? No. It sure beats 20. Good grief. I mean, which would you do? And you know what? Doing it this way, I bought several packs. I can go through and I can hoop up. Like while this is embroidering, I have another one in the hoop for the other side. Because I tend to work in batches, not exactly line production style, but I do batch, so so I batch and border all the eyes and stuff. So I can sit there with my binder clips and I can get them all ready. So then it takes less time in between changing stuff. Time's money. So. Why not dollar versus twenty something dollars? I don't have to deal with the post office. Y'all, they're getting bad. Okay, the story about going to the post office today to ship these off. And by the way, I forgot to get pictures of the finished ponies. They're just standard stick ponies. Um, they got the same farm detail fabric or farming fabric for the details for the eyelids and the inside of the ears. Otherwise, they're denim. And I put a lot brown hair. Uh, the hair actually matches the eye color that we're stitching here. Um, just standard yarn hair. They're standard stick ponies. I'm sh shipping them out to another YouTuber. Um, to her kids. Because I just wanted to bless them. I don't know if she'll say anything about it or anything. I did give her and her channel a coupon code that is good indefinitely. But I also told her that it's not mandatory that she mention it or give the code out or anything. I just, it was an off. I'm not pushy. I'm not pushing it on anybody or anything. But I just wanted that to be an option. <clears throat> I think their channel is great. And I'm not going to mention it here because this video will go out before they even get it, I think. Anyways, but they're a farm. And they're awesome. I just wanted to be a blessing to them. But I went to the post office today. So my printer is currently broke. Because mom says don't sit the cat food on top of the printer. Cause, and now there's cat food in the printer and it won't take paper in. And yeah, yeah. So I gotta go buy a new printer again.
thinking about moving my printer in here, putting something up, hanging the printer on the wall in here, so I don't have to deal with that. I don't know, it's my business printer. Anyways, um, went to the post office because I usually do my stuff on Etsy. Or, uh, not Etsy, sorry, I hate Etsy. Um, I usually do my shipping labels through PayPal because it's cheaper. And if I'm doing it overseas, I do it on pirate ship because it's even cheaper there. So, I usually print those out and do it directly, send them out. Yeah, I use two large flat white boxes, like the game size boxes. And I tape them together with stick ponies inside. This is what my mail lady told me to do two years ago. I've been doing it this way for two years. The law hasn't changed on those or anything. They're free boxes. Cuts my overhead down. And it's much better than if you happen to receive one of my stick ponies before I figured this one out. I used to Frankenstein boxes and it looked like I was shipping um, Harley Quinn's mallet out. Anyways. So. Tape these boxes together. Don't use it as a flat rate box. Go into the post office. And, this lady. I stand there for five minutes staring at her. Nobody in line in front of me. I'm the only person in there. She's sitting there. Don't know what she's doing. She finally looks up and goes. What do you want? I said, well, I need to ship this. I got the address already on it. It's all ready to go. She puts it on the thing. She measures it. She types it all in. She realizes, yeah, by weight, it's only going to be $10. She looks at it and she goes, I can't ship this. It's a flat rate box and you've altered it and that's illegal. Really, that's the first I've heard of it. I've been doing this for two years. And it was at the recommendation of my mail lady who said that her... And the postmaster at the time had come up with this solution because they were afraid the Frankenstein boxes would lead to the sticks getting broken. It's like, okay. So she's like, no. She goes and talks, takes the box in the back and talks to one of her, empl her, her fellow employees. She comes up there and goes, we can't ship this. It's a flat rate box and you've altered it. It's really, I have been doing this for over two years. Go to get the postmaster. He's like, yeah. She's like, but it's cheaper than a flat rate box. And he goes, yeah, it works out that way sometimes. But it's legal to do this. So it shipped. This is just about that. And I wanted to tell y'all, thank you for watching. Love y'all. Be blessed. Bye.